welcome back to another chess class. Coach Nathan. Um, very excited for today. Um, if you've seen if you've been reading the emails, it's very exciting news. Girls tournament. This is girls tournament coming up not this Sunday, but next Sunday, May twenty fourth. Okay. Um, prepare to play. Plan to play. Game 45 with a five second play. There are four rounds. It starts at 9 30. Registration should be open the night before, okay? Look for this email. Click register here. The registration link. Uh, reach out. You can ask me on Chess Kid. If you want, I'm Coach Nathan Chess. Use mom and dad. It's ICN All Girls Championship Tournament. I'm going to pull wigs. Um, which is great. It's going to be awesome. Uh, it's the first ever. Okay. Uh, it's May 24th. It's not this Sunday. It's not this Sunday. It's May 24th. It's, it's about a week and two days. Two days. There's prizes. First place. Top 10 players in each section. Money prizes right there. Guys, um, very fun team prizes for the top five teams in each section. I'm excited, can't wait to see. Um, so they're going to use either, either the uh, higher the USCF rating or the ICM rating, which either is higher. Okay, um, it's not USCF rated, but we will use the rating that's higher. Okay, um. Please, you'll receive email instructions 8 a.m. on that Sunday, how to access it. And, uh, so, listen, join, plan on it. Start asking mom and dad now. Can I play May 24th? Remember, registration closes Saturday 23rd at 10 p.m. You want to register before then, right? So, uh, first round is at 9.30 a.m. Sunday, May 24th. Okay? You have to be registered the night before at 10 p.m. I'm going to blast it every chance I get. You know it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to be great. Okay? All right. So um, today, today's lesson is get, get prepared for you to play uh, the tournaments. Okay, Just a little bit of tactics. Get warmed up. A little bit of stretching. Play. Let's check it out. Here is a two-fold attack. Okay, let's come back. There's a lot of two-fold attacks in your games. Uh, this one, two pieces attack. A piece is only protected once, or three pieces attack. A piece is only protected once, or only protected twice. So um, let's look at this position. Uh, it's going to happen a lot in your games. Text. So keep your eyes open and you, then you have to calculate. You must do the calculation. You must do the math because you have a choice. Here, first you must do the two attacking. One attacking, two attacking, only one protecting. So, in a situation like this, now we have to do the calculation. Matter, does it not matter? Let's look. So I'll let you calculate for a second. Think about it. If you want to capture the bishop or the knight first? Okay, in this position, it turns out either way, uh, it, here it actually does matter. You don't want to capture with the bishop first. Because now bishop can take knight with check. Okay, so you got to be careful with that. If a piece can take with check, how does this work? Well, if you capture here first, now black has chance to save their piece. You have a check. The most fortunate one in chess. You have to recapture, and then black can capture here. And they make a mistake, right? Go back. What happens if you capture with the knight first? Now, if they capture, 
extra back. You gotta be careful. You don't want to add the two folded back here. It backfire on you. Backfire. So make sure you don't get stuck between the pages. Capturing the the bin chain. So be careful that very dangerous two folded back. I know this in here. That point games can be very tricky. Okay here. He's playing white pieces. You have a knight on a six and a rook on a three. That knight is going to take the rook, which is correct capture. Here, if you thought it didn't matter, that's not correct. If your move was to capture the rook and rook, that's the correct move. So capturing the check, and rook has to capture back, and they can capture, and you have one apiece. If you move, attack knight, uh, knight moves away. Let's go back. Why can't you capture the knight first? If you take knight, well, capture with the knight first, you know the rook is probably not going to take that loses points. Actually, black has a better move if the knight takes first. And it doesn't have to do with the square gate, it has to do with this piece back here on h1, the king. Here we have a back rank mate situation. The king is trapped behind the black pawns. Safe, but here it is vulnerable to a back rank mate. If knight takes a d8, rook plays a one check. White has a useless way to interpose, but black captures right away and replaces that mate. So be very careful about how tables can turn very easily if you're going to get back rank mate. And here you're gaining time by taking a Forcing black to capture with the rocks. And be very careful that if something is happening in games, you might come to a situation that looks like two folded tag is there. You must do the calculating. You must calculate capturing first and making sure you're not going to get hit with a bank rank mate here. That's going to happen. It's going to happen in your games. Okay, let's put another two folded tag here as well. Okay, if we look carefully, king is attacking the bishop on e4, and knight's attacking the bishop on e4. Is order of capture important here? Should you capture the queen first, the knight first? Does it matter? I'll give you a second to think about it. Okay, if your idea was to capture with the knight, that is not correct. If your idea was to capture that's correct move. If you capture with the knight first, oh, same problem. The king is trapped behind the three pawns. You want to get back rank mate. Take the pawn back here. Again, white has a useless way to interpose, but then black captures his banker back rank mate. Let's go back. So, if you do capture with the king, if queen takes queen, knight takes queen. Black's just going to lose. But try to come down with the check right now. Now, the way to interpose is useful. Play knight to f1. And no more back rank mate. And white is just up a whole three points here. No problem at all. Let's go back. And here, make sure you see the pattern for the correct capture. Defending against the back rank mate. Correct capture. And if you think you can get a checkmate here, this is not the correct move. This is not checkmate against black, black white, and there's no longer a three fold attack against uh, the bishop here. You lost your chance. It doesn't work to come back here now because now the bishop has moved, it's got the pawn, uh, there's a check here, so now we're going to get another bishop somehow, and we lost our chance to win the piece. Now, maybe you take the pawn this way. So be careful of that when the two-fold attack comes. It will burn. Okay, so here's white to move. 
again, to hold attack queen and knight were very, very really good. They actually worked well. They created a lot of attacks because they moved to the knight. Bishop and queen were the same diagonal, right? But a knight and queen cause a lot more damage in general than queen and bishop. So here, there's no difference. It's queen and knight attacking bishop. It's only protected first by the queen and the The question here is, is order capture important here? Should you capture the queen first? Should you capture the knight first? Does it matter? All right. In this position, Sneaky one, this is also line clear. You have to be careful. Here you see now these three pawns trapping our king back here on G1. If we're not careful, this queen can swoop down and give the check on him. I, I hope you find the answer. In this case, you should take with the knight. Why? Because now you can clear the line. Dad, I'm clear to guard a one. Very important to guard this square. Now, the queen no longer has checkmate in the back rank. You capture with the queen. This doesn't matter because now, queen a one check. White has a useless way to interpose. Notice also the pawn on c2 blocking. If the pawn wasn't here on c2, the queen could go to b1. But no, here it doesn't work. Interposition, he takes back rank checkmate. Comes again. Here, be very careful. They're complicated. You must take on e4. Guarding, protecting, and controlling. The square on a1. Checkmate threats. In a position like this, you see this is a pattern. Okay? This is like high alert. You must be very careful all of your relation to this game for bring back rank mate. Now, of course, uh, so be careful of that. Don't want to get back rank mated when you have a winning position. It can happen. Right. Next position. Right. Okay. Now this time, black to move. This is black to move. Very important. Black to move. Sorry, it's white to move. So, two foot attack. We have a rook attacking the knight on d5. Bishop on c6 attacking the knight on d5. Which piece should you capture? Do the calculation. Do the math and see here. Should you capture with bishop first? Or should you capture with rook first? Okay, it turns out here, you want to capture the on d5 for a few reasons. First of all, one of the two pieces that was attacking is being attacked itself. The pawn and the knight. That makes it pretty easy, right? Also, in general, you don't want to take with the higher piece first, giving up, because in two for attack, your opponent's usually going to be captured. You still don't want to give up. Higher piece. In this position, capture it first, knight, bishop, and here, you have a full five points up to get this. If instead you rush this position, what do you take? Here, the rook. Now, good game, so good fights. Obviously, white can still win these fights. After they capture not going to be as effective as many points. It's going to be a hard fight. Okay. So the other way, you clearly win to the contest with the bishop and knight. Easy win. Uh, if they capture, which they probably won't do, because you, if you're down material, you have to keep all the material you can. In this position, white is absolutely win. Alright, guys, so keep that in mind. Um, next video, we'll continue with the London system. Uh, keep on look at that. I'll see you at the tournament. See you later, guys.